I'm Edmund C. Buckley, Director of Tracking and Data Acquisition for the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. I bring you greetings from your friends and colleagues in the United States and those at the tra from the tracking stations throughout the world. From all of us to our good friends in Australia, congratulations on the newest station on the networks, Carnarvon. Now I would like to present the administrator of the National Aeronautics and Space Administration from his office in Washington, Mr. James E. Webb. On this great day for Australian-American friendship, the opening of the new station at Carnarvon forges another strong link in the chain of mutual understanding between our nations. Australia plays a vital role in tracking and communicating with the spacecraft the United States and other free world nations are sending out to explore the mysteries of the universe. Every spacecraft launched from Cape Kennedy passes near Carnarvon on its first orbit, for this farthest west point of Australia is the antipodal point of Cape Kennedy. Carnarvon will be responsible for support to an important phase in the program to follow Mercury the Gemini, which will build in space and on the ground a capability for men to explore and to do useful work in an area out to four or five hundred miles from the Earth, and will provide an intermediate step in building this same kind of capability out to the moon. Two astronauts in the Gemini capsule will perform a number of exacting maneuvers during their flights. Carnarvon will track both the Gemini spacecraft and the orbiting large Agena space engine which, with which it will rendezvous and join together in space. The ground station will be in direct communication with the astronauts who perform this difficult mission. Following the joining of the Gemini with the Agena space engine, which can be stopped and started in space, extensive space maneuvers will be performed. The Carnarvon station will also have a key role in commanding and tracking other spacecraft, particularly the series of orbiting observatory satellites soon to be launched for studies of the Sun, the Earth, and other bodies in space. Australia and the United States of America have many common bonds. We speak the same language. We have served side by side in war and in peace. We share common hopes and aspirations. Carnarvon is one more step in our continued work together toward exploring mankind's newest frontier, outer space. Thank you, Mr. Webb. And now a message from the network stations by way of Goddard, the laboratory of the nerve center that heads up the networks around the world. Speaking from Goddard, Dr. Harry J. Guest. Ladies and gentlemen, it is indeed a pleasure for me to participate in this manner in the ceremonies dedicating the new space tracking facilities at Carnarvon, Australia. I can only say that I would be glad to be with you in person today. We at the Goddard Space Flight Center extend our best wishes and welcome to the Carnarvon Station as it joins our worldwide team of tracking stations. Australian stations have already played a key role in support of our tracking operations. Without such stations and the men who are manning them, the exploration of space would not be possible. The Carnarvon Station will now join this team. You will be called upon to support future manned missions such as Gemini and Apollo, and our future scientific satellite missions, such as will be flown by this orbiting astronomical observatory and this orbiting solar observatory in future years. I'm sure that Carnarvon will live up to the high standards that have already been set by your sister stations, Woomera and Luce, in their support of our past Mercury flights. Some of the stations in the tracking network you are about to join are standing by to welcome you. I would like now to call on them and ask them to extend their words of greeting. Cape Kennedy. Roger, go ahead. Go ahead, Cape Kennedy. Thank you very much, Dr. Gatt. I'm delighted to have this opportunity to speak to the Minister of Supply for the Australian Government and the personnel of the Carnarvon Site in Australia. It's an 
historic moment as the site of the commission to join the worldwide track and data system network. Carnarvon will be increasingly important as our manned space flight program continues and our scientific satellite program expands. My heartiest congratulations and thanks to all of you in Australia. We at Cape Kennedy look forward to working with you. Thank you, Cape Kennedy. Come in, Alaska. Uh, this is Gilmore Creek, Alaska. Thank you, Dr. Gillett. It is indeed a pleasure for the Alaskan station to be a part of this historic occasion. The commissioning of the Carnarvon station at a time when the world is at the threshold of a new era of exploration will greatly augment the already outstanding contributions of Australia to the space research program. Those of us in the land of the Midnight Sun wish to join the other stations in expressing our appreciation to the Minister of Supply and to the Weapons Research Establishment and in welcoming the Carnarvon Station personnel as partners on the voyage into the future. Thank you, Alaska. Come in, Canary Island. Thank you, Dr. Good. It's an honor and with the utmost pleasure that I address the Commonwealth of Australia as Minister of the Department of Supply on this momentous and historical milestone of space progress. We at Canary warmly welcome the Canarvon Station of the Weapons Research Establishment into the Global Space Tracking Network. Thank you, Canary. Come in, Guaymas, Mexico. Good morning, Dr. Gant. This is Wyman. I'd like to add my congratulations to the minister and to the Weapons Research Establishment on this great occasion. To all of the personnel at Canarvon, saludos amigos, and welcome to the network. We're glad to have you join us. Thank you, Gramis. Bermuda, will you come in now? Thank you, Dr. Gibbs. On behalf of the Mass Space Flight Station here at Bermuda, we would like to add our views to the minister and to each and the individual who contributed to the development of the station in Canarvon. We at Bermuda are looking forward to a full virtual association with our sister station in Canarvon and the decisive date of service. Thank you, Bermuda. Kano, Nigeria.